<laughs> um, okay. Well, last thing, since you mentioned Apple and uh, you mentioned the documentary, I was like, oh, do you mean the Brad Pitt one with, uh... <laughs> but no, that is not a documentary. That is a movie that is being filmed right now in, uh, in and amidst the paddock. Uh, they filmed a lot of scenes last year during Silverstone, uh, Silver Silverstone, excuse me. Uh, and there were, Brad Pitt was walking around during interviews and stuff. I'm sure you probably saw him yes. all weekend, right? Yes, we yeah, we did. So he was filming. It was actually really uh, I, I found it really amazing to see as, you know, just someone obviously all of us go and watch movies when we can. But, yeah, they were in the TV pen after qualifying and after the race where Brad Pitt would do a couple of run throughs of walking to a, uh, a camera, which was obviously set up by Apple. They had two other cameras there and they were filming a scene live as they did it. And there was another actor there playing a journalist, or one of the written journalists. He was dressed like, had like a flat cap on. He looked like he was from the 80s. And I think he <laughs> steps in. And I think he makes like a wager with Brad Pitt. And then obviously oh. I assume the wager comes to be true later in the movie. But Fernando Alonso actually was hanging around the pen. And we all noticed that he during that scene kept going over and patting Brad Pitt on the back and going, nice job. So definitely there's a cameo in there from Fernando. Oh my gosh. Which would be kind of cool. That would be cool. I did see a video of like Brad Pitt walking around and Fernando Alonso just turns and stares at him. Yeah, so that, exactly. So that scene, so that moment is just before and then he goes over, pats him on the back and is like, good job today or something. He's like that. And then he came around to talk to us and I was like, were you just acting with Brad Pitt? And he was, he like gave like a, Fernando Alonso kind of like nod in a wink and was like, did you, he, he just said, did you like it? And I was like, I mean, yeah, look, it looked okay. I mean, what, you know, um, I, yeah, I feel like, it, go, sorry, go ahead. I just, yeah, I, I feel like the whole process has been really, really different for Formula One. You know, there was a time when Formula One didn't let anyone come into the paddock at all. And suddenly they're giving Apple unfettered access. I don't know what you made of the trailer. We can talk about the kind of the, the ropey dialogue at the beginning. Yes. But I thought the actual, the racing scenes look amazing. And like the the visor cams, a lot of that was filmed at Silverstone last year. Um, so I think that from a visual point of view, it'll be interesting. But I'm worried about like <laughs> the, the bit of dialogue. The that we got. Yeah, the plot itself. <laughs> I mean, okay, we're we're totally on the same page. All right, let's watch the let's just watch like the first yeah. few seconds of this trailer. Ferrari, Mercedes, Aston, now McLaren, all have a speed on the straights. Our shot is battling in the turns. We need to build our car for combat. <laughs> How am I supposed to make that safe? Who said anything about safe? So yes, that opening dialogue is like really the only dialogue in the trailer. And it was immediately like, ooh, <laughs> I don't think well, it's that... just we gotta build a car for combat. I mean, I get what he's saying, but it's it's very it's very hammed up, which I I guess, hey, it is a Hollywood movie, right? It, yeah, it's gotta course. have it's gotta have some stuff in. Um yeah, so we'll see. I mean, if it's all like that, there's there's a few TikToks I saw of people doing impressions of Brad Pitt when he's like um, you know, I bet there's a scene in it where he's like, they talk a lot of languages in Formula One, Italian, Spanish, English, Portuguese. There's only one, <laughs> but there's only one, one language on the track. And he's like eating an apple. And he's like, what, what, what language is that Scott? And then someone off camera is like speed, speed. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And it's like, you can imagine, you can imagine that kind of thing. So we'll see. Um, we actually had a briefing uh, during the week about the movie and I'm, I'm excited. I think a lot of people are going to go to it who haven't seen Formula One before. Uh, or have a very vague understanding of it. And I think the fact they're using real life drivers, obviously Steiner had a cameo on it, like leaning yes. over the pit wall. I think there'll be a lot, there'll be enough cameos in there that it will make it pretty fun. I do get the impression it feels like a big marketing film because they use the title, they use the logo as well, which yes, we, we had a lot of debates about when we we're at the Silverstone Media Center. I'd love to know what you think about it. But for me, I'm like, they must be able to come up with a better title than F1. But then again, everyone's going to say, well, have you seen the F1 movie? It's perfect from you that. Might point as well. Point. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, it's going, people are just going to call it the F1 movie, regardless yeah. of what you name it. I think your point about the cameos is spot on. People will watch it just to be like the Leonardo DiCaprio, like point at the screen thing every yeah. time. Well, yeah, yeah. Fernando Alonso, the Gunther Steiner frame in the trailer is perfect. I like already, I'm like, oh, I'm so, so glad he gets a cameo in this. But the title, yeah, it's not even that it's just called F1. It's that they're using the logo, the trademarked F1 logo. Um, yeah. And so I think that alone tells you this movie is going to make Formula One look awesome. Um, hopefully not at expense at the expense of like an actual cool storyline or a plot, but we didn't get to see what any of that might be from the trailer. Uh, yeah. I know I've read like a, like a two sentence blurb about what the 
storyline is uh, before the trailer came out, but like it really doesn't tell you very much. So yeah. I don't know what to expect. I hope it's good. I, I definitely am rooting for it to be a good movie because I love uh, good sports movies. There's just not a lot of them. It's hard to it's hard to yeah. do it. It really is. And I think that the one thing I have hope about is the fact that there's been complete buy in from the teams, because I think Lewis Hamilton himself said it. He said there's not any good racing movies, which I would I would I would say, well, there's cars. <laughs> <laughs> and there's days of thunder which is fantastic but it's obviously a nascar movie but it's so difficult to get racing right i think you know when you see a lot of sports movies a bad sports movie is terrible you know yeah. if you get it right it's very you know if you get it right it's perfect but if you get it wrong i think it's really wrong you know you see like a, growing up in the uk you see when movies try and have scenes you know soccer scenes where they're kind of passing the ball to each other and you're like oh this just looks awful. It just looks terrible. So it's really easy to get wrong. So hopefully they haven't. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm staying optimistic. I might just I might just mute the dialogue at certain points. points right. When it's Watch on. the racing. I think <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. for, for sure. Like I I think Spencer and I have some like uh when when we're having a slower week, we're gonna do some F one movie watching. Maybe watch the Ferrari movie, which I haven't seen yet, uh, or some of the other ones that have come out. But you're right, there's not a ton of really great ones. The Senna documentary is probably the best F one yes, movie, agree. but it's a it's a completely different genre. Yeah. It's a documentary, and it's yeah. Awesome, Rush but... Rush is really good. So, Rush was okay. Brothers. I yeah. 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 Ford versus Ferrari. I'm not gonna lie, I fell asleep. I it was yeah. really long. <laughs> Yeah, the that one, the Ferrari movie I did see the the more recent one, the Adam Driver it, one. Yeah, it had moments, but yeah, it was one where I was like, ah, oh, like, I don't know, I just left. But again, maybe that's coming from a more of a racing background. Maybe if you're not from that, you find it really interesting, and that's yeah. that's also fine. You know, not every movie is gonna satisfy every person, so we'll see. How Absolutely, it goes. and I'm excited for Hans Zimmer. I think that you know oh, the purpose yeah, of the huge. movie, I'm sure, is to get more new fans uh, to watch the actual races. So. As long as it looks cool and uh, yeah. sounds good, I'm sure it'll get the job done. But I'm I'm eager to see what it is. It'll be out next summer. So there's a long wait ahead of us. Long, long wait indeed. And I mean, Fernando Alonso, maybe after he's done Formula One, he'll be an actor. Who knows? That could be the springboard for him. It seems like he would be perfect for it. <laughs> um, 